Excuse me, sir, I really need to ask you. One second, please, I almost I got know, it. but this I work is... for a professor in this department and we're really trying to close up the building. It's, and... it's really late. Please. Got it. <laughs> wow. That's, um, that's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, it's too bad that it's, you know, pretty similar to anything you could just look at on your phone or... Yeah, no, it's, um, it's magical. It's, it's like moon powder. Lunar soil? Are you talking about lunar soil? Yeah, yeah, but I'm thinking about when you look at a picture of the moon and to me it just looks like flour. You know, like, the little stuff that you put on the bottom of a pan before you roll out the pizza dough, that kind of thing. Pizza dough? Where'd you get pizza dough? It just does. I mean, look, look. What do you see? Rocks. I see many, many rocks. Honey, no. You see glowing pieces of rocks that are made of pizza dough. <laughs> okay, sure. What's your name, pizza dough boy? Leo. What's yours? Aya, please. Leo. I love you. And, and I love you. I know, but we're graduating. And you've got to take that position in San Francisco. You're going to do so great. And, and I'm sorry, I just, I can't be that girl constantly making phone calls and booking plane tickets and taking time off work. And... Then I'll take time off work. I mean, I'll come to D.C. I can't ask that of you. You can't ask me to do that. We just need to take a little bit more time and... Leo. The right person at the wrong time is still the wrong person. I guess fate wasn't on our side. Don't you think that it's weird that your name's Leo and you're, I don't know, obsessed with this horoscope mumbo jumbo stuff? And I mean, you're not even a Leo. My grandpa was named Leo. <laughs> I don't think my parents really bothered with the fact that I was Born in winter and not summer. A weird trick of fate, though. Getting a horoscope name, even if it's the wrong one. Leo the Pisces. <laughs> fate, really? What? You don't believe in fate? No. Wow. He said that quickly. I'm a decisive person. What do you believe in then? I mean, you have to believe in something. Something that's greater than us. I do. I... I believe in physics. I guess you're in the right major then. <laughs> but what about the things that don't have neurons or Jimmy Neutron? <laughs> or anything? What about those things that just feel right. Like when we met. If it wasn't fate, how are we together now? Why are we together now? And what about this all-knowing book? Say anything about endorphins? I never said it was all-knowing. <laughs> Let's see. It says, there is an initial innate understanding between Capricorn, that's you, and Pisces, that's me. For both, their greatest fear is rejection. But Capricorn tends to withdraw while Pisces just clings tighter. Though these differences may prove too great for long-term happiness, there are questions these individuals possess that only the other can answer. There are lessons to be learned only the other can teach. There are discoveries that the two can only make together. The key will be to drink in as much of each other's wisdom as they can before the time comes to sleep.